for an aircraft suddenly to disappear, it's uh, clearly a catastrophic uh, problem. Um, and that's caused either by the aircraft having a mechanical failure or a mechanical or some device on board. Or is there a third option, and we can't rule anything out, and that is uh, the crew have actually um, done something to the aircraft again. And we've seen a couple of incidents of that in the last uh, 18 months. So right now, everything's on the table. Experts believe that the plane was out of control, that they weren't controlled turns, they weren't responding to anything. So what the, does that suggest? It's, well, it suggests, in fact, that the crew was incapacitated by a catastrophic event, and most likely that, that event people are leaning towards it being a bomb. The size of the debris field will tell us much. If the debris field is contained, small part, then the plane probably came directly down. Uh, if it's widespread, uh, it, it looks more like it perhaps was a, an explosive device. If there was a fight in the cockpit, then the cockpit voice recorder will give us an indication of that. If it was pilot suicide, uh, which is an unlikely possibility, but it's, it's one of them. If it was one of the sky marshals on board that had, it was using a firearm inside the flight deck, all of those scenarios would be ruled out uh, by the recordings on the cockpit voice recorder. But frankly, we won't know much until wreckage can be found. And really deeper answers will come when we find things like the flight data recorder and the cockpit voice recorder. At least in this case, we know where the aircraft was, and so that should narrow down the search field. Um, but even still, these things can take a lot of time.